Hello and welcome to Cartographica's website, MacGIS.com. In this quick tour, I will introduce the basic elements of Cartographica and talk a little about some of the various menus and functions. What you see on screen is the main window for Cartographica. This window here with the blue background is the map window, which is where the map will appear after the data are imported. This is the data viewer, which shows the attribute data for a selected layer. On the left is the layer stack which is where the list of layers are shown and controlled. On the right are the zoom controls consisting of the thumb wheel, which can be moved to zoom in and out, and the zoom factor box, uh, which displays the current zoom level. At the top, we have standard user configurable toolbars containing zoom, identify, pan, and measure tools. Also, we have a filter bar used for filtering uh, layers. On the left, we have a color picker, a font selection window, and a quick print button. Next, I will briefly discuss the various menus. So we'll start with the file menu. The file menu contains a number of commands for importing, exporting, acquiring data from databases, and other sources like GPS devices and web feature servers. The top segment is where you can open new maps windows or saved map sets and also recently used map sets. The second segment is where you can find various commands for importing data. These options include importing vector and raster data, as well as acquiring data from web map servers, web feature servers, GPS devices, and network databases. The third segment is where you can find various commands for exporting data. Included here are the abilities to export shapefiles and attribute data in spreadsheet format. Next, we can talk about the edit menu. The edit menu contains a number of standard editing commands such as copy and paste, delete, and select all, but also includes a number of editing commands that are designed especially for editing and selecting spatially defined features. For example, select with feature will select features based on a spatial relationship with another layer. Also, edit selected feature and add feature are designed to be used for adding and editing layer geometry. The map menu contains a number of tools that are designed to help when you are working within the map window. These tools include the zoom tool, identify tool, pan tool, and measure tool. The layer menu contains a number of commands that are used when you are working on a specific layer. The top section allows you to add a new layer or also to delete a layer. The second section contains the layer styles window. Third section allows you to add or remove columns from a layer. Fourth section contains the Create Layer from Selection tool, which allows you to create a new layer based on a selection of features within a layer. Next, the Set Layer Projection and Reproject Layer allow you to adjust a layer's projection. And finally, you have the ability to set a mask layer or clear a mask layer and also to refresh data. Next, the View menu contains commands that control what is visible within the map window. The first section provides quick zooming to augment using the mouse to zoom and can zoom in on a particular feature, layer, or zoom out to the entire map. The second section allows you to move back and forth between the most recent zoom values and visible areas, allowing you to quickly toggle between recently viewed places on the map. Next, we'll talk about the window menu. The window menu contains a number of standard menu options. Included here are options that allow you to view a number of secondary windows that aid with data selection and editing. An important addition here in version 1.4 is the inclusion of the Uber browser window, which you can see here. We cover the Uber browser in another quick tour, but a quick description would be that the Uber browser is a collection of libraries for point, line, and polygon designs, as well as bookmarks and color palettes. To facilitate the discussion of the tools menu, Let's start by adding a live map. So we'll click on File and Add Live Map. Here you have the options to use a Bing map or open street map. Uh, so we're going to use a Bing map and we're going to change the selection from aerial imagery to roads on aerial imagery and click Add. Next, we will import three vector files. So we'll click on File and Import Vector Data. And here we'll select uh, three shape files, metro lines, metro stations, and park polygon shape files. We'll click open. You can see the three layers in the map window. 
The extent of the map has been reduced to the Washington DC area, which is where the three layers are located. Next, we'll look at the tools menu. Click on the tools menu at the top. The tools menu contains Cartographica's analysis functions, and there are different analyses available for the various vector data formats. So currently the black commands you see within the tools menu are the commands available for a polygon layer. So in the second section, you can see there are a number of commands available to enhance the attribute data for a polygon layer. Also in the third section, there are a number of commands available, including the count points in polygons command, which is an aggregation tool, and also the perform overlay operations and spatial join commands, which are also aggregation tools that also allow you to adjust the geometry of the polygon layer. So we click on the lines layer next, so we can see the tools available for the lines layer. Again, there are tools in the second section available for enhancing the attribute data for the metro lines layer. Again, the overlay operation and spatial join commands are available for the line layer, uh, as you can perform these two functions on any type of data format. And we'll finally look at metro stations, the point layer, Come back to the tools menu. At the top, you can see the kernel density mapping command is available, as well as the add coordinates column in the attribute tools section. Also here in the third section is the find clusters command, which is new to version 1.4. It allows you to perform cluster analysis for the point level data. And again, you can see the overlay operation and spatial join commands are available. So that is the basic elements and the various menus and commands within Cartographica version 1.4. Thank you for listening.